Uh, Josh? Uh, I'm, I, I'm not optimistic that this will result in any big change in either the U.S. policy or the Israeli policy, for that matter. I mean, just look at what the White House announced. They didn't say they're going to use pressure against the Netanyahu government. They said they're threatened to use pressure in exchange. Israel promised to do something, something that the White House has been asking them to do for months. And uh, nothing about the Rafah uh, uh, coming invasion, nothing about the greater humanitarian situation and the real cause of why there is 1.1 million people facing catastrophic food insecurity in northern Gaza. It's not for a lack of access points, okay? The Israelis can announce as many access points as they want, but the truth is that there are thousands of trucks sitting right now uh, at the access points that are already open that can't get in because of policies that the Israeli government has instituted that amount to barriers for aid delivery and an onerous and arbitrary inspection process that rejects things like scissors and child's medical kits, uh, sleeping bags if they're the color green, that's a real example, dates if they have pits in them, as if the pits are going to be some sort of threat to the Israeli forces. And uh, this is a comprehensive system of aid denial that for which every aid group says has been uh, getting worse, not better. So uh, it seems like what the White House has done is come up with a way to get through the next news cycle, not to actually solve the problem of the catastrophic humanitarian situation, especially in northern Gaza. And we, everybody knows that the White House and the president have been dragged into this by pressure from inside their party and around the world uh, because of the just sheer horror of the uh, a reality of a man-made famine in 2024 in a place where there's no shortage of food. So, no, I'm not optimistic. I think this is a exercise in damage control for both the Biden administration as, and the Israelis, and, uh, and the situation on the ground is actually only getting worse, tragically.